Okay, this is our uh, little work area, and uh, we're getting ready to do the formula hybrid wheel. So basically what we do is we make a rim of a wall rim, and now we're going to lay in a bunch of clay in between there to make the halfway, the parting line, and uh, then we'll pour it this evening, today, take 24 hours, and then we'll flip it over, pull the clay off, and pour the, neck, the other side. Okay, so we have the mold ready. This is the uh, first half, so what we did is we put the part in there, and uh, we basically raise it to the levels that we need with the clay. Now as you see we have a inset. It almost looks like a pool. And in reality what I'm looking at here is the actual part when we would mold it. So before we would throw the next half of the mold in there we would actually fill this up here with material and then we would squish down the mold on top of it. All the risers would be on top and the material would squirt out. There's There's a method to the madness here. When you do that, then it causes all the bubbles to have to rise up through those risers. So that's, uh, you need to have a pressure. So what you're going to have is fluid up to probably about this line here, and that will cause a positive pressure pushing the bubbles up through the risers. That's the theory behind it. Okay, so we tallied up the volumes and the weights and came up with an equivalent uh, grammage. This is the final grams that we would have come up with, so then I made this equivalency. Probably should have put a little bit more because I ran short by that amount of a little mold. So I was trying to fill up all these old molds that I had. It's alright. So basically I usually throw like a 1% 2% error on it and you can see the 2% stuck in there. The mold is done and uh, the top part is anyway so we have to flip it and then do the bottom part and then we will be cutting sprues and holes and all that stuff for pouring okay so this is the we flipped the mold over and now we're going to do the other side and uh, we'll build this up to about right here and then fill her up okay so we have the bed built up and we're going to pour it well, to calculate how much to put in there and uh, pour it. Okay, uh, we've done the calculation based on the model that we had. And we came up with 700 grams for a final material volume. <clears throat> so we uh, stirred up some material and we've uh, poured it. Looks like we got the right volume and it, because that's a it didn't come out the holes and we didn't have enough. So uh, basically we pour it and then push down the top and the top pushes out any excess material plus air bubbles. So that's where we're at right now in about two or three hours we'll take a look at it. Pull off, cut off the risers and pull the part. Okay so now we're getting... All right so then we uh, pull the mold off. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. So, what happens is we get bubbles in the part and the risers are supposed to take care of it. But at least we have, and we can see where all the other bubbles are. Yes, yeah, so and now you know where to put the new risers. So then we just pop the part out, like that. And we can do stress analysis on this one. Right. trim out all this excess stuff. Very nice. There you go. So here's the wheel from the good side, bad side. Good side. Bad side. Okay. 